Blog Talk Radio. Good evening and welcome everyone to the 11th episode of the New School Homeschool, where today our guest is Andrea Sade. I'm not sure if I'm saying your last name right there, but Andrea is the founder of Trauma-Based MindControl.com, a network against torture on toddlers and children. And she came into the co- the topic of MK Ultra after her son was taken by the Austrian government into their care when he was not even three years old. After his mind fracture and basis programming became visible, and so Andrea is here today to share because she has an event coming up soon, a meditation about to do with her son who is still. Um, not with her. He is somewhere with the the world controllers, and so she is here today to share about what trauma-based mind control is, MK Ultra, and also ritualistic holidays and or dates that she is aware of. So thanks for joining us today, Andrea, all the way from Austria. Um, would you like to say anything else about yourself before we get into it here? Um, hello, and thank you for having me. Uh, um, no, it's um, we just can start. I think um, I'm living here in Austria. Um, I had to live in several countries since the happenings took place. Um, <clears throat> I'm <clears throat> maybe for the audience. Um, I studied. <clears throat> excuse me. I studied comparative literature and German at Vienna University. I have a master degree um, in this issue. I made a boss credit in statistics, um, worked in business, and then decided to make an education as a coach, trainer, and counselor. Um, and these educations I made before I got pregnant with my beloved son, Luki. So that's for, from my side. Cool. Thank you, Andrea. Thanks for sharing. I was wondering if you could um, explain to us how your son ended up, you know, with his first um, mind control um, programming that started becoming visible when he was about three years old. How did that mind control programming take place before he was the age of three? Like, were you aware that it was happening? Was it physical? Was it something coming from the astral realm while he was asleep. Could you explain that to our listeners? Mm-hmm. I mean, I came into the, into the topic of MK Ultra and SRA um, without knowing anything about the topic. Um, we here in Austria especially, um, but also in the German-speaking countries, there is massive censorship on MK Ultra, So there are no whistleblowers talking about it. And even SRA is unknown in Austria. Um, Nevertheless, some German psychologists are specialized on that. So, um, and my son um, came back home from visits from his official father, um, who turned out to be a Secret Service official. But that's another part of the story. Um, And he got severe ill in the first in the first time. So I brought him to doctors, physicians. They told me, yeah, it's normal in that age. Don't worry, everything is fine. He is developing so well. Um, because he also knew the ABC was one and a half year shortly after started to read his first world. So he was he was quite well and quite advanced for his age. Um, and when the illnesses didn't stop, I got very worried because um, uh, again and again, um, I ran to the doctors, to the physicians, and interestingly, they always prescribed some antibiotics. And I had no idea. Um, I got panic because um, filling up a small toddler with antibiotics all the time cannot be healthy. And... Um, and I saw that his inner state was very restless. He was suffering. He regressed in his ability to speak. He was um, he needed soothers again. Um, 
and there was a massive inner, inner tension within him I could not explain. So I decided after weeks, um, I decided to to close down actually everything, um, really to stay with him night and day, to have a look um, what's going on there, what's, what's the matter with him. And then actually after there were some... Um, breaks from the visits to his father, um, one after the next flashbacks um, broke out of him. And within this hor- horrific flash, he was, he was telling me quite a lot um, what was going on. And um, as I studied literature and German, it was, it was quite easy for me to write down all those details for courts. Meaning I described in detail what he told me, what he has had to suffer, his stories, what happened, when, with whom. And actually, um, or unfortunately, we both did a two brilliant job because since then we were both targeted from Secret Service. Um, courts refused to have my small one examined in detail over MRT, CT. And... Um, after half a year, um, because I tried to find out what was going on, I tried to find help for him, for his suffering, medical help, psychological help. Um, they, um, they took the boy, and since then he was ongoing use in an official program. Um, what I know now is um, it, they took him one week before his third birthday and what I need know now in point of scientific research is that the um, the basic mind fracture is actually happening before the third birthday and after that the M culture programming starts so there was a timeline set and no matter what I would have done it would have happened as it seems So, well, that's very interesting. Thank you for sharing, Andrea. We appreciate you sharing because for a lot of people, it's hard to to listen to them. I'm sure it must be hard to to share, but it's cool that you're that you're doing something. And it's important people wake up to what's really going on because there's hundreds of thousands of children that go missing in the biggest countries in the world, such as the UK. Uh, yeah. the United States here and millions around the world every year and they're being tortured and all sorts of awful things are happening to them because the, the world controllers are, <laughs> are disgusting awful beings and it's mm-hmm. human farming here and it's it's just it's just awful and so did you want to share anything else about about your son and and what you've been through it says here and what you send me and and things about how you've been there have been assassination attempts on you and could you explain yeah. like how that happened and, and why that happened? Yeah, um I promised my son that I never will give up um fighting for him and his truth. And um shortly before he was taken, I mean we knew that there was the imminent danger that he was taken because um, there were threats here and there. Um, And um, I asked him um, how he would like me to react in in such a situation. And um, it it sounds a bit strange to talk such six with a three-year-old, but um, after a child or a toddler goes through such horrendous torture crimes, Children have some kind of personality aspect in them. They are much more adult. Um, partly I had the feeling I talk with a 13-year-old, 18-year-old already because of those suffering of, of these horrendous experiences. They seemingly mature, the children mature quite quickly just to give a frame for that. And within such a situation, I called it I called it like an open door, the situation where I was able to talk with him like that. And there he told me, listen, um, please fight, not just fight for me, 
but fight for all those little children out there who suffered with me. Not in such a brilliant um, sentence, but um, within his ability to talk, he told me this. And he also told me that I shall not um, be sad or cry. He said, please fight. So he wanted me to fight. Um, in the following months or weeks, I tried to find out what was going on. And um, I did a lot of research. I could not find the catchphrase MKUltra or satanic ritual abuse or ritual abuse. Um, now, I, I think it was hidden in the search engine um, because actually I'm not a clumsy researcher. And um, when I found out that it's a huge topic that it's discussed, especially in America, and there are many whistleblowers, activists, survivors are speaking out, even spoke um, in front of American Congress in the 90s. Um, then I knew I have to do this work for the smallest ones, because the smallest ones, the toddlers, do not have a voice. And I wanted to give back them the voice they don't have. And um, so I founded traumabasedmindcontrol.com, Network Against um, Torture and Toddlers and Children. And this is my mission, my promise I keep um, towards my son and all his little friends out there. Because, you know, when a toddler, a two and a half year old or a two year old, it doesn't matter, even three year old, has such horrendous flashbacks, it's it's nearly, on one hand, it's nearly un, unbearable um, because these small ones are in the torture situation when they have these flashbacks. They feel it, they smell it, they, they go through it again and again. Um, so it's very shocking for you as a loving parent um, to see your child suffering and telling you the, the most, horrific and actually also crazy stuff um, and at the beginning you really have to um, you have to fight with yourself because you you tell yourself that cannot be possible um, the most blatant example I'm always telling because it's so embarrassing to talk about it and I want to break this shame frame perpetrators are throwing over us so my son, um, for example, was taking a toilet brush. He was in that age and he took it. And all of a sudden he got a flashback and he realized that he now has a toilet brush in his hand. And I was wondering first, I was thinking, well, they might have beaten him with that. It was, there was no other explanation until um, over hours, days and weeks, First, he cried for hours, was shocked, shivering, panicking, and I could not understand what I've done. And after a few days, actually weeks, it came out that um, they used the handle of the toilet brush to um, penetrate his anus. Um, just to give you a glimpse of how perverted um, these networks operate, um, because you as a protective parent, doesn't matter if mother or father, you then have to go to the police or to the prosecution office and tell them, listen, my son was penetrated annually with the handle of a toilet brush. Who should believe that? Who has the courage to speak out about the, such things? Um, this is one example just to give you a bit a glimpse of the situation and you see your son suffer shivering the body language, um, and you know you have to do something about it. Um, but every but no one wants to listen. No one wants to believe it, and everyone hopes that the situation just passes. So that's why I do this work with all those shocking, embarrassing um, issues to bring them into the light of the public. Is that understandable, the way I tell it to you? Yes, that's very good, thanks. And and I totally understand what you're saying because walking around here on the earth, 
seeing the unaware humans all the time. They're they're exactly like you said. They don't want to hear it, and they don't they don't want to acknowledge that these things are taking place because then they'll have to see that they're agreeing to be controlled by the people who are doing these things to to these children and to people all around the world. And yeah. it's not just happening here physically, but it's also happening in the astral realm while people are sleeping mm-hmm. because these these aliens, we call them the, the rats, the reptilian alien tap liners, they take people out of their body while they're asleep. And they return them to their body before, in the exact moment they took them out. So the individual is completely Mm -hmm. unaware of what happened. But you can learn about these experiences. You can you can see them on the real side when you ask to be shown your tap lines. And some people do uh, hypnosis therapy, and they can see them that way too. And so the whole world is controlled. through their mental body, their astral body, and through physical, you know, experiences too. And so it's it's great to see individuals like you sharing what's really going on. So the people, you know, can see what's really taking place. And then once you see what's taking place and who's controlling the place, you can decide to make better decisions and become more aware. And you don't have to agree to be controlled anymore because the earth is like a giant prison and the reptilians are controlling the place along with other aliens that they have agreements with and things and and then there are the police and the tax collectors who are like the prison guards and we're down here and we're just you know we're avoiding uh, being you know taken in by these prison guards and things but at the same time we can create a better position for ourselves which is what we're doing as wonderful worldwide educators with the new school home school where we're providing a real education with the natural environment for people as a start for people to see more because the standard education that we've all been through is just to be indoctrinated and mind controlled from the mental level and the astral level to agree to what's going on here, which which doesn't make any sense at all. So, yeah, I really appreciate what you're saying. You you uh, expressed yourself and shared your experiences very well. So it's, it's great, and mm-hmm. I really appreciate it, and we, we all do here. I can see there's a, a number of callers on. I'm sure they'll have some questions later, but did you want to talk mm-hmm. about your the assassination attempts on you too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the assassination teams. Well, um, I did a lot of research. Now, very earthly based research. Of course, I had in mind other possibilities with time travel, especially in time, Nazi time travel. Um, and am approaching a bit more to the to the extraterrestrial topic, as we call it. Um, but I tried to bring everything down to earth in a kind of logical, scientific way. Um, and um, latest after, actually latest after having found about the perpetrators, um, my son was lucky or unlucky, I don't know, um, to recognize 72 plus perpetrators um, with close ties to secret service, to politics, to politicians, to Bilderbergers, to, diplom- to diplomacy. Um, since then, actually, I was targeted. First, I did not really take it seriously because I did not know what was behind the whole issue. But latest, after um, I published the website, traumabestmindcontrol.com, it was in... Um, Late 2013, early 2014, I was then targeted on a on a daily, hourly basis. Actually, um, first it started that agents came who wanted to be my helpers. Of course, of course, they did not tell me that they were agents. And um, first, they tried to bring to break you down on a soul level. So um, I will. Is, um, we call it in the German-speaking countries. We have a thing that's called Zersetzung, 
or um, they really try to break it down on a soul level. So, for example, an agent was sitting in my living room. We had coffee talking about how to help Luki or what to do in this situation. And all of a sudden, I, I got so much cognitive dissonance. I really felt I'm getting crazy. There's a huge lie behind the situation now. And um, I asked for help in, inside me. And then I realized, oh, my God, this guy is one of the torture knights of my son. And as soon as I realized it, um, it did not work anymore. But if you do not realize that you are surrounded with guys, friends, helpers, acquaintances, it doesn't matter who, and they are torturing your son or are present at his torture with us, this is breaking you down on a soul level, and I'm not joking. You're really close to get insane. And um, I know over the years from my research and from other contacts that many, many mothers or fathers are getting insane. They are knocking at the door of psychiatric hospitals or are committing suicide. So what I tell you it sounds very easy and um, but it is not. So if you don't find out, it's really breaking you down. This was kind of attempts um, on the soul level. And then um, soon after that, after this didn't work, because once you find out, you will find it out again and again. So it's, it's difficult to reuse this pattern on you. Um, there was a huge, massive murder attack on me um, 2015 with a laser weapon that um, actually did destroyed part of my brain, of my right brain. Um, it felt as if my whole head was burning. I was lying in bed for months actually and was not use, I was not able to use my intellectual abilities um, in like before. It took me a lot of time to heal. Um, and the next attempt was again with direct energy weapons. Um, it, they're weakening you on every single level. Your health is nearly breaking down. But what we know from other whistleblowers, activists and scientists in such situation, never ever call the ambulance, <laughs> never ever go to a hospital because um, the most famous here, at least in Europe, um, is Dr. Rauni Kille. Um, she was targeted with direct energy weapons so intensively that she made the mistake to call the ambulance. Everything was prepared. They brought her in a different hospital, not in the, in the hospital close to her um, home. And there they, they, um, she got a kind of splash with um, radical, that caused radical cancer, and she died two weeks after that. And she even wrote um, messages out of the hospital, please fetch me out, they're going to kill me here. This is the short version of her being killed. Officially, she died of cancer. So um, then the next murder attempts, I have even, um, they also work often with poison. Um, I have from physicians in Britain that I have toxins and poison in my whole body. Um, and the last huge murder attempt um, was actually um, when I had held a speech in Scotland exactly one year ago, or nearly exactly one year ago. And um, there at the on the travel back at the airport, um, I was attacked by a direct energy weapon that caused that my brain was dehydrated. So it was extremely, um, it was, I was closest to a brain stroke. And it's very important that you stay cool, that you immediately go into the crowd, drink something, relax, and try to calm you down. And especially, um, never ever let someone um, recognize um, that you are um, injured, 
because as soon as you're in the hospital, um, we know from the others, as, as, it, as I told you, to finish you off and try to find a healer. Um, yeah, and it's ongoing. Um, partly I'm kept under direct energy weapons, under radiation, under poisoning. So it's quite a fight, and I feel like being in combat for the last 10 years, at least it feels like that. Um, what gives me power and strength is um, my mantra over all those years has been and still is um, that my suffering is nothing compared to what the children, toddlers and babies go through. One of them is my beloved son. So I as an adult can be strong and fight to bring their truth out. Wow, it's very, um, very impressive that you're that you're okay and that you're still here with us after everything you've been through. And one thing that I'd like to share with you is something that we share with a lot of people and every, anyone who's willing to listen is there's a, a sound or a vibration that you can sing. Um, it's we call it the new you, and it goes like new you. And there's no mm-hmm. right or wrong way to sing it. You can find different people singing it on YouTube and things, and you can sing it whenever you like. It's a direct connection to the real universal guides and the real universes. And when you sing it, especially before bed, you can be shown things on the real side um, or your dreams to become more aware. But it's also a real protection. And so... It can protect you from things in the, the astral realm, the various different levels of creation, and especially here in the physical, too, where you're being targeted. And so, you know, that's something that you might want to try, and I'm sure you will you at least mm-hmm. test it out and see what happens. It's, it's very cool. And we, all, we do it here with wonderful worldwide educators and myself, I I started using it, and I had some really, really cool experiences on the real side, and I was showing the things that were restricting me, and and it is real protection, and and it definitely comes in handy here on the Earth because, like I said, it's a it's a prison planet, and it's not an easy place to be a lot of the time. And mm-hmm. so I was I was going to ask you uh, if you could just share uh, a little bit about. Um, your son, like uh, where where you see he's at now, and 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 why they're targeting you for trying to find him, and and what you're sharing about the children and your son, um, mm-hmm. like why they're targeting you. Like I understand you have this website and things, but what are your main ways for creating awareness about your son and trying to contact him? Mm, yeah, thank you for the question. Um, I after um after I mean I'm gonna start here. Um it's known in scientific literature um that that um the perpetrators are ongoing um doing rituals with these children. So um as Austrian courts did not even want to have my son examined over MRT, CT, nuclear medical examinations. Um, they would find um, scars in the brainstem. They would find um, a broken or damaged coccyx or pelvis of him. They would find uh, that he is castrated with um, that, meaning his inner genitals are destroyed. Um, they would they would find many damages on him on a physical level that stay lifelong. Um, I decided to publish the names of the perpetrators he recognized to give him a kind of protection so that these perpetrators cannot not access him at least not so easily. This was my motivation as well as to avoid that these perpetrators are doing more harm because um, it's known that 
those just um, torturing one child, but many. Um, therefore, with the close contact of them to um, secret service or politics, some of them are even secret service employees or agents, um, this made the situation um, even more dangerous. So therefore, I'm even more targeted, of course, because they don't want to see the pictures online. They don't want to read their names online. At the moment, I just have published the names in German and also their connections, because you see then the perpetrator ABC has connections to exactly the physician who was examining my son. And this physician has exactly connections to the foster carer who placed my son then into this foster family, who again have connection with this, this, this. I mean, they are, on, on one hand, they are highly brilliant within these networks in terms of being bestial, intelligent, doing all those sophisticated and culture programs. And on the other hand, they are very stupid because they are um, in the newspapers, there are pictures of them together. So you, it, it's very easy. You find them within a few clicks, you know. Um, this person knows this person. This person ha has done some kind of research with this person. So they are also proud to belong to this network. So therefore you can find them easily and you can very easily, It w or let's say it would be very easy to shut down these networks if police, military, secret service would like to. Um, this was a huge reason for being targeted. And um, the danger of the situation now with my son um, beside I published all this, um, is I I was um, I received a letter with a picture from him um, this January, where um, I saw that he um, lost lost already all his adult teeth, not even not being even ten years old, and injuries on the teeth on the gums and on the tongue are a, are a threat to be silent. Um, so um, the issue with the teeth is for sure caused due to torture. It is open now if it's caused due to too much electroshocks or, or otherwise. Um, so um, I wrote to courts. Um, I asked them to have my son examined again to explain what happened to his teeth. I also received the link on YouTube um, from with his YouTube channel where I was able to hear him. He wasn't even he was hardly or barely able to speak because of all this torture trauma. Um, courts refused to do anything. Um, they always claim there would be no initial suspicion, so they, they are not acting. And what we also know from child trafficking, this is now a hypothesis, um, but teeth are also connected to, um, sorry to be so open, I hope your audience can stand it, um, but to get um, orally abused, meaning rape. Um, so I see the the, great, the intense danger um, because um, the body of, of my beloved son has so many injuries that stays that will stay his whole life, you know. Um, that these groups and networks are now deciding to solve the situation, to delete any traces, and to kill him to be open. Um, therefore, I again um, public and a colleague of mine had a brilliant idea to do a kind of healing meditation um, for my son, asking uh, and his friends, of course, too, because um, those children are always in groups. 
there are never single children in single cases, as media wants to tell us, um, and help all those children, but this time, especially my son, um, to get out of these networks. Thanks again for sharing, Andrea. So it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's really, it's really good to hear. Like I said earlier, and you also would you like to um, ask some, let the callers ask some questions now, or would you like to share about the the ritualistic date that you also wanted to mention? Um. <clears throat> yeah. Um. The rit- well, the ritualistic day. Um, I'm very glad that I'm here today <laughs> um, because we have high season um, since the beginning of the week. Um, the burning of the cathedral in Paris, Notre Dame de Paris, um, was actually the beginning of the Easter week. And um, we've, we have now high season for satanic ritualistic days. Um, this week, out of every religion, or nearly out of every religion, um, important festive days are celebrated. We have Christian ones, we have Jewish ones, we have Muslim festive days, and um, Nazis also celebrate Hitler's birthday today. Um so when many festive days come together, it's 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 extremely dangerous for for the children, because it's nothing against any single religion on earth. It's just that in in every single religion on earth, Satanists are hiding, pretending to be Christians, pretending to be Muslims, pretending to be Jews. Um, but they are um, infiltrating these churches and then afterwards are celebrating their own satanic rituals. So um, we have a peak um, this weekend until the 1st of May, where many children worldwide, babies, toddlers, children, are sacrificed, um, meaning killed ritualistically or tortured or um, at least spiritually abused. Um, and it's a nightmare for every single adult survivor. Um, adult survivors can feel the energies when they are building up, partly that they can do these rituals too. And um, there is scientific proof that these ritual days exist, because some may have their doubts. Um, recordings from psychologists, psychiatrists, but especially hospitals, um, they, um, their records show that during these festive days, they have more um, patients. So it's not just a horror fantasy story, um, but there's relevant proof too. This we have an, yes, until the 1st of May. Sorry, yes. I was just gonna say, and we people can get there, can see what's really taking place on the real side, too. Um, like by singing the new you, and deciding to, and asking to be shown what's really taking place with anything that's going on on the planet. Uh, you can be shown, you know, the real side of of anything by singing the new you, new sound that I mentioned earlier before going to sleep. And another thing you can do with the when you're singing the new you is you can actually contact individuals on the real side, such as your son. You could sing the new you, and you could contact him from the real side in the astral or any of the other levels of life, and maybe he could communicate with you that way, which is which is really cool and really just depends on the intent of the individual as to what they see a lot of the time. So that's another, it's just really cool. We enjoy to share that because it's the real cure for all because, and 
there's so much stuff here on the earth, um, created stuff, you know, scientific, um, spiritual things, political, religious, all this stuff, and and then we don't negate anything here as wonderful worldwide educators. We just simply share what is real and what makes sense. So that's really cool. And we, like I said, it's cool to share and give others the opportunity to test it for themselves. So, um, thanks for sharing again. And we have a caller here. Uh, this is Val, this is called the Dean Val. He's, um, he's on the line, so I'm just going to unmute him and see if he has anything he'd like to share. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, hi, is it Andrea, your name? Yes, Andrea. Oh, hi. Yeah, thank you for for coming on and sharing what you do. Um, I was wondering uh, through your research, what, um, how do these uh, perpetrators target these these children? Is there are they looking for certain types of children or families that they want to use for MK Ultra and their, their rituals? And, mm, um, thank you. Super. And how thank did you, you, for the you get targeted yourself? Yes. Thank you for the question. Um, we must not forget that most cases are um, voluntarily, meaning the parents agree um, that their child is in an MK Ultra program. So um, government secret service is very um, good in manipulation, the parents into believing that their child then later on will become powerful prosecution officer, police officer, military official, politician, whatsoever. So most of the cases are voluntarily. Um, So you will not hear anything about them, basically. The cases I'm specialized on are the involuntary cases. And there we see a targeting pattern. they they are targeting actually um, quite intelligent or educated women um, who also have the ability to dissociate or who are dissociated. Um, This is one group. We have then the next group of women who are MKed themselves. Um, So they are targeted if they want or not and are often used as breeders. Um, And the third group, um, but they are of course all overlapping, is when you have um, family members in brotherhoods, Freemasonry, um, military or bloodlines, either officially or unofficially, you have a good chance to be targeted. Governments are targeting also from the children now, um, extremely bright children, children with extremely high IQ and it's still the recipe Alistair Crowley gave the world Um, blonde, intelligent um, cherished and fostered boys to give the highest level of energies Thank you Andrea and you just mentioned energies I am that's that's why they're doing this experiments. Is that correct? Can you elaborate on on why? What is the motive for these individuals to do such awful experiments on children? Well, um, thank you for this question. Um, it's, I mean, the first group who is standing there are the so-called pedophiles. Um, we always read in the media, of course, pedophile here, pedophile there. Um, they also try to convince it that it would be something sexual. It's plain torture. Just just think of the body sizes of an adult man and a toddler. It's torture. It's not sexual. But, well, this, this is the first group. Behind this group um, are already the satanists um, to do all this energetical, spiritual abuse. Um, for example, I found out with my beloved son that he was not suffering so much about the rapes 
the torture, the waterboarding, um, the being mocked and laughed at during torture, being put in cages, whatsoever. This was healed within a second. At least it felt for me like that. Um, but what was laying on his soul level like a stone was that he had to give promises and oaths. And I was thinking over months and months and months, um, what could he have promised? And um, until I realized that it's extremely important what he told me, and I made contract revocations for him. And um, there I found out that he really relaxed and um, massive steps in healing, healing, healing. And I saw um, that until elementary school, he would be totally healed, except, of course, after mutilation injuries. You cannot heal a mutilation. Um, and, but also a um, specialized specialist confirmed this, that he would have healed um, until elementary school. But then he was taken away and underwent ongoing torture. And the spiritualistic part of this of this crime is extremely important as seemingly they um, install something into the children at least my son told me that meaning um, bad karma evil karma um, evil dark energies are um, brought into the children um, and the bright light full energies are taken out so if you think of some public figures, maybe politicians, you realize um, that they always look so bright with their lovely energies, um, seemingly like bright and lightful, like babies. Well, now we can have a guess how comes that they look like that. Many of them are programmed themselves. Many of them are involved in Satanism, as we know. And um, they are, I'm convinced, not all of them, but many are doing these rituals on children. So the, the dimension is incredible, deep. And, um, and as far as I'm now in my research, of course, to try to bind the soul for many lifetimes. So even if you are not um, an experiencer of this crime in this lifetime, um, it's important, or it it would be important, of course, it's your decision, um, to revoke all contracts, maybe from a former lifetime. Thank you again for sharing. Uh, did you have any other questions, Dean Val, before we go on to the next call? Um I wasn't able to listen to some of the show, and I was wondering what what you are doing uh, in a positive way to, you know, anything to help your son or to help other parents. What I what do? Kind of actions are you, yeah, what kind of actions are you doing? Um, actions. Um, I'm doing, um, I published a lot on traumabasedmindcontrol.com. Um, there are, um, you find under forensics, especially, um, some more, more, more details about symptoms of toddlers and children and of the basic programming after the basic mind fracture. Um, there you also find um, what you can do, how you, what, where you can search um, injuries on your child because you know, the smaller toddler is the less he or she can talk. So I published about the Istanbul Protocol um, and what's written there and how you can use this um, for toddlers and children. Because when you normally go to a hospital, they say that's not true, that cannot be, you don't get an examination. Here, you know, everything sounds easy, but when you're in the situation, you are standing in front of locked doors. No one gives you the normal basic medical treatment or gives basic medical treatment to your child. Even if you say, I pay for that privately, 
you have locked doors. So um, when you come, for example, with this Istanbul protocol, it was written by um, hundreds of specialists worldwide, um, handed over to the United Nations, and it was um, since then it's a kind of recommendation from the United Nations what to do in case of torture, crimes. Um, I rewrote it um, for children and toddlers. So when you come with this, they cannot throw you out of the hospital because my son and I, we were thrown out of the hospital several times, you know. Um, and the third most important piece is um, how to question those children in torture crimes. Because... Um, for example, what you do, um, we also have audio proof for that, fortunately in the meantime. Um, my son came home and told me about other mummies. So I don't know what, for example, a psycho psychologist or anyone told him, but he might have told them, mommy is hurting me or daddy is hurting me. Many fathers are concerned, much more than we can imagine. Um, you have to ask these toddlers or children, especially toddlers, which mummy? Because via torture, they force the child, the toddler, into saying and claiming, this is my mummy. There is this famous um, audio. Um, it said it's, it's John Bodesta. Um, he's the guy, it's a man, of, at least, torturing a toddler who is crying desperately and he says, from now on, I'm your father. From now on, I'm your father. Call me father. Call me dad. Call me dad. So um, you must imagine the confusion, even from social service, from psychologists, from everyone, when the child says, my father hurt me. My father tortured me. My father did this, this or my mother did this. So questioning these children, you always have to ask, um, are we talking about this mommy? Are we talking about this daddy? Um, are we talking about this grandma? Because also in, in our own case, they made a setup with, with so-called grandparents who are not his grandparents. So strangers told my son they would be the, his grandparents. Um, and the second thing on questioning children or searching What's really important, for example, while looking through old pictures um, from my own past with him, he all of a sudden was very exciting seeing an old acquaintance or old friend with, with whom I have lost contact for years now, then. And he said, oh, she's nice, she's nice, 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 lovely, lovely. And I was like, hey, wow, that's nice you know her. What nice things did she do with you? What have you done, dear? And I tried to stay very neutral, not to confuse him. I was shivering inside me, but I tried not to confuse him with my own emotions. And then he said, he, she said, stop, 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 stop during torture, during ouch. He, his word was ouch for that, being two and a half years old. So this woman was present at a torture ritual, and he loved her because she was saving him. Um, and these are very important hints when you talk with such children because um, you are very soon directed into a wrong direction, actually. And you miss lots of um, important information, um, also about the confusion that was done in their minds. This is just a short summary this is part, I, I consider this as, as the most important pieces of my work because these things you don't find published elsewhere. At least I haven't found it yet. And thank you very much for what you do. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, it's, it's, it's without children, we don't have a future. And in our mind control um, society, um, I'm and there, I and all the other experts are very afraid that um, the future of our children is M-Culture on every single child on earth, and I hope we all can prevent this. 
from happening now? Yes, and here at the, at the new school, home school, we see what you just said, the children of the future. And so it's, it's wonderful to, to share what makes sense with them, which is the natural environment, which supports all of us. And the children understand that, and it's very cool. And children are less indoctrinated by the system. It doesn't ha- hasn't happened to them like it has to to adults and so they're much more pure and sincere so when things like this happen to children it's, it's very awful and so it's, it's very cool that you're doing something for these children that have had this happen and and that's that's very cool and give them the opportunity to to see more and understand what they've gone through so that's very cool we have another yeah, call here Oh, sorry, go ahead. Okay. No, I, I just want to add, I mean, there are experts, of course, even better than me, of course. <laughs> um, but um, if they don't speak out in public, if they don't publish their work, if they don't point um, with their fingers to it, if they don't make it available at least online, it doesn't help, you know. Yes, exactly, and so it's, that's what we do here on the, our radio show. We give people the opportunity to share what they're doing, share something that makes sense here, and as we share what we're doing, which which makes sense through, through the, with the whole of life. So it's a real adventure, and people can listen to our other radio shows on this channel too. The last person mm-hmm. we interviewed talked about permaculture and with children especially and how they just so intuitively know what to do in the garden and with growing food and on the natural landscape. So we share all sorts of things, wonderful things and then things like this because people need to understand everything that's going on here because nothing here really makes sense. And when you get a comparison of what doesn't make sense, you can begin to perceive and understand what does make sense, which is the all is or the isness life is in the real universe which is which is very cool and gives individuals a real purpose to, to share something when they become aware of something that does make sense. So mm-hmm. just gonna go yeah. ahead and go to the next the next caller here, which is a seven three two area code. I'm not sure who that is, but if you'd like to ask Andrea a question, you can go ahead and do so. I can't hear okay. something. Yeah, I don't hear anything either. So we can move on to the next caller. We have 541 is Tim from Oregon. Tim, did you have anything you would like to share or ask Andrea? Are you there, Tim, or 541 area code? Are you there? Hello? I I don't hear anything either. Me neither. Um, okay. <laughs> not sure what's going Did, on. Can you hear I'm me here. now? Yes. Okay. Now yeah, we, hear you. we hear you now, Tim. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, Um. I'm becoming aware of these reptilians that have um become the brutalitarians here on earth that uh, they've turned this into a human farming prison planet and there's reasons why we came here to earth and in these psych realms I'm becoming aware of the cause and effect it does sound awful terrible all these experiences torture and killing and things like that. And it may be a hard question, but do you see a a cause for this being done to certain people because maybe in a previous life they had done that to others and now they have to um, have the effect of what they caused? 
Um, well, I was confronted with this question um, over, yes, over the years, of course. And um, I find out, I do a lot of research actually night and day because it's about my beloved son. So I'm also in the situation that I have the compulsion to do it. And um, I found out something highly interesting. Um, those children um, are forced into contract. The whole MCO Ultra, the whole SRA, the whole child sex trafficking, as we call it, is contract-based. Um, meaning they bring a toddler into a, a complete um, unacceptable situation and then are, are making one contract with them after the next. So seemingly, my son was forced into the first contract when he wanted um, back home to me, his mommy. Um, but it's quite easy to just imagine what a child is going to promise for 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 coming back to his beloved parents for food for for warmth for for whatever you know for hygiene or whatsoever. And um, they don't explain, of course, that the child cannot imagine what they are um, agreeing to because a child doesn't have the experience frame. So a child just says, yes, I want to have this. Yes, you can do that, not knowing what they are agreeing to. And one contact after the next is made with them. Um, and no, um, in my experience over the years um, is that Crowley <clears throat> defined it, um, take out the most bright and intelligent children. So, ex so bright, ex bright and intelligent, actually what we call often starsy children are an extremely danger to be brought in such programs, to be honest. And they also saw it um, when they missed the period to bring them into a MCOLDRA program or SA program because you you have to start with the mind you have to do, have done the mind fracture until the age of three you cannot do it afterwards. Um, I experienced it in the German speaking countries at least that those bright children are then caught when they are 10, 11, 12 years old. And they are given Ritalin to destroy their abilities. So these children are targeted massively. And on the karma issue, um, I more and more see, no, it's the other way around. Um, they are taking out the bright ones. But this is my personal experience. I might be wrong. I don't have any answer. But I see the more bright you are, the more you're targeted. You're on mute there, Tim. I don't know. Can you hear me? Or Yeah, I can it, hear you. Can you, okay. Waiting yeah. okay. can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you, yes. Oh, yeah. That's like um, what I'm becoming aware of is that – these psych realms that we're in, this physical realm that is ruled by brutalitarians or reptilians, whatever you want to call them, and have made these governments and this educational system that mankind um, has and the scientific community that's created the poisons and the atomic bombs and on and on stuff. It's all these experiences that we are going through have a reason and that, that what is important is that we don't have to come back to this psych realm stuff, this physical and astral and causal and mental and etheric and get through a deep, dark border with the help of real guidance and a real education into real universes where we're free and don't have these things affecting us um, forever. And that 
the connection at the present that I'm becoming aware of is this song, New You, 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 that if a person sings that and is sincere and wants to know what's real, he'll the real guides will see, and there's real guides, I don't know if you've heard of them, um, Reba Zartars and Paul Twitchell and Yabul Sakabi and Fubi Quants and Gopal Das and Shama C. Tabriz and Kata Daki and Lai C. and Rami Nuri and Tawart Manaji and and we have one in the physical here in America um, and who's Dwayne Hepner, their universal seers and guides for um, people to find their way um, into the real universes so you don't have to come back into these psych realms with all this nightmare experiences. That's what this new presentation and the worldwide, wonderful worldwide educators are trying to share with the humans on Earth right now. Yeah, thanks for sharing, Tim. And Tim, Tim has his own radio show on our on our station here on Wednesdays. Tell it like it is, Tim, and people can tune into that too. And what I'd just like to add from what Tim said is that people can become aware of the Kalam God, who is the God that most religions pray to in the mental level of creation and he controls all the, the lower levels of creation being the causal the mental the causal the astral and the physical here and when you become aware of what he is saying and if people want to learn about him they can read the new books by Dwayne the Great Writer who Tim just referred to and you can read books book two is a good one to start with where Dwayne and the real universal guides meet the Kalam God and also book four and and it's very interesting how how it all works and that people are agreeing to be controlled by the Kalam God who is a reptilian with, with three heads, a, a benevolent head, a controlling head and then the influence which is unseen by most and and so the these mind controlled programs taking place on the earth, they, it all starts from from the Kalam God on the mental level, which might sound like a bit of hocus pocus to other to some people because we're so literal here because we've been controlled and indoctrinated to be that way. But it's very real and when you become aware of these things you can you can make the decision to no longer agree to them just like the tap lines I mentioned earlier. So Thanks for sharing, Tim. Yeah, thank you. And I mean, besides all those reptilians, ascended masters, Jesus, God, whatever, um, I'm very spiritual. I don't want to mock about it. And, and I believe in that, of course. Yeah? And I'm aware, or I'm aware of the situation with satanic entities and so on. But I think it's very important to bring it down again and again to earth and to ask what's my responsibility on that. Um, what's my responsibility for the next generation? I mean, I choose my topic. That doesn't mean that everyone has to choose and specialize on torture on toddlers and children. No, but what's about vaccination? What's about bad schools, indoctrination in schools, um, cancer, cancer, chemotherapy? Um, I mean, we have so many topics and issues. It's really necessary not to rely on someone else, even not on an ascended master, Jesus or God, but to to start to relearn to to have a take responsibility for our own lives, for the lives of our community, our countries, or the whole world. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I totally understand and I agree. People have to do something to create a real benefit for not just themselves but others here so that others can become more aware too and 
and okay. and support support life, support each other, and support the natural environment. So yeah, thank you for sharing, and we we see what you see, and and that's what we're doing here. We we're we're supporting the natural environment, and we're we're sharing so many things with people so they can become more aware and not have to agree to their restrictions anymore. And like you said, you don't have to be doing one particular thing. Everybody has their has their niche or something, but the the main thing is to just do something to contribute to to create a benefit for others. And so you're doing that and, and that's very cool. I mean everyone I mean you're doing also a lot. So it's 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 okay and it's not not to force someone into a topic. This also doesn't work. But it's just to, to let grow the thought what could be my responsibility for the next generation without stress, without punishment, you know, without blaming someone. We are so indoctrinated to listen to a God, to an, a, a to some kind of authoritarian figure. Um, so I think this we have to relearn to just overtake, to take back our responsibility. Yeah. So thank you too, Henry. <laughs> Yes, you're welcome. Thank you for being grateful. It's very cool. And yeah, one of the main things we share is that you decide your life and nobody makes any kind of decision for you or nobody can decide for you. You decide your life every moment. And so, and it doesn't make sense to look to an authoritarian like you see it a God or something realistically because they are going to be making decisions for you or controlling you in some way because that's what authorities do and what we're sharing is the real universe is of real freedom where there's no restrictions and no authorities where everything is just pure light and sound which is the which is like i said you come into creation to have a to get a comparison to something that doesn't make sense so that you can begin to see what does make sense and mm -hmm. so, yeah, there's a lot to it. And like you said, the ascended masters and the angels, they're, they're all still in, in creation somewhere, just a different, a different part in the physical place we're in mm -hmm. here. And so these things, we don't negate them and you can look to them and they can assist you in some way, depending on where you're at. But realistically, you're already a free being of real light and you just have to recognize that and become mm -hmm. that and be that more so and share that awareness with others. So it's very cool once you, life is very cool once you begin to see it. But at the same time, like we're discussing here, it's a hard place to be. And so you have the, the very st strong comparison while you're here on the earth. Yeah. The feeling you got a lot of help from lightful beings, let's call it like this, you know, over the years. Um, nevertheless, um, I was always challenged to overtake my responsibility. I, cho I have chosen to overtake, you know. So um, do something and you will get help. I think this this is the the kind of recipe I know at the moment. <laughs> yes, for sure. It is time to do something. And the days of masters and gurus have gone because those are passive systems. And mm -hmm. now the the mm -hmm. time has come where it's, there's chemtrails in the sky every day. They're putting the 5G up. There's these mind controlled programs happening and tortures and kids being kidnapped and and mm -hmm. there's so many things so many things going on that there's so much so many things for people to do. Nobody had there's just it's, there's so much to do and so. So what, we're always doing something. We're always busy here and sharing with people. So and it's, it's great to have you on. We have um, we have another caller here. Uh, it says mm -hmm. uh, the area code is 224. If you would like to ask Andrew a question or share something, uh, go ahead. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Okay, uh, you might have to unmute yourself, otherwise we can move on to the next caller. Okay, I'm not hearing anything from the 224 area code, so 
We have a 361 area code. I think that's Corpus Christi in Texas. Is that you there, Claudette? <laughs> Hi. I just wanted to say what an awesome show. I, I only got to get to the last little part, but what you had described, what Kim has described is is right on. And and thank you for sharing. Uh, it's been a most interesting topic in our lives now or on a different venture. Uh, thank you. Mm, thank you for the feedback. Okay, and... Claudette is another universal seer, and you can listen to her on the Kelsey Lynn Brown YouTube channel or just by typing in the Orion Queen parts one to three or just Orion Queen into YouTube, and you'll see our video we have there where Claudette and Dwayne the Great Writer confront the Orion Queen, which is a very interesting video, and I suggest everybody check it out if they have the opportunity or if they're interested in learning about how what's been going on and the real side life is or on the Orion planet. And the Orions were the original invaders here, for anyone that doesn't know. Some people call them the Anunnaki or different names, too. So, Andrew, we don't have any more uh, callers here that haven't spoken or that I haven't given the opportunity to speak but. Is there anything else you would like to share or would you like to talk about your event that's coming up or anything? Um, yes, for the event. Um, my colleague is seemingly um, not able to, to call into the show. Um, okay, um, the event will take place on the 25th of April um, at 1 p.m. in um, Pacific Standard Time. You can find it on Facebook um, under my name, Andrea Sadek, or just right here from the website. And everyone is welcome who want to join the meditation. Um, it's, it's not just about my son, but also about the um, other children in these programs. And we are preparing a meditation um, that will be very protected for everyone. So no dark forces can interfere um, as well. Um, yeah, it will be guided and it will last around 30 to 40 minutes. So everyone who is interested is um, cordially invited and welcomed. Do you have any questions left, Henry? Um, I mean, there were some things that came to me earlier, but... I think we've discussed a lot and and it's it's been it's been fun to talk to you. You're wonderful, Andrea, and you're you're doing something that that needs to be done here and there's there's a lot of this mind control stuff going on and so many people are unaware of it, so it's it's great to share it and we'll put this on on YouTube and SoundCloud and, and Discord and around Facebook too uh, for others to listen to at a later date. And Andrea, you said you were gonna share it. Um, you were gonna share it around too, and maybe even translate it into German, which would be great. Another thing mm -hmm. I wanted to tell you is that some of the books I mentioned earlier by Dwayne, the great writer, such as A Journey to Real Freedom, they've been translated into German too. So I will send you a, a copy of a few books and. And I think there's two, one in German, and, and I can send you two in English, if you'd like to read them too, if you, if you're interested in, in what we're doing and uh, our adventures on the real side, life is. So. There's not much else for me here today, other than I, I will sh also share some links about the new you, new sound um, that you can sing, and it would be great if you could. If you can use that to contact your son on the real side or in your dream visions to mm -hmm. communicate mm -hmm. with him and maybe uh, assist him in some way from the real side. Yes, I'm very, very glad. Yes, I'm looking forward to receiving the books and the information about the sound because the sound has an interesting frequency. It changed your own frequency totally. So I'm very interested in what's about um, to get more details from that. Thank you, Henry. 
Yes, and that just uh, reminded me that Claudette here from from Texas, she was she was abducted and had some experiences with the um, the reptilians on the on the real side or in the astral realm and different places. And she, with the new year, new sound, she was able to to withdraw from from those from that control that she was under and now she is uh, doing wonderful things with the real universal guides on the real side and so she is a, a great so called testimonial for anybody that's having trouble on the real side with uh, these these uh, awful beings that are, that are doing awful things to, to children and people of mm. all ages around around the all of creation other planets and everything yeah, wow, great. Great to hear that more and more are doing something about it. Because years ago, or yeah, let's say years ago, the only way for those targeted by such creatures or beings was to be um, stored in a psychiatric asylum for the rest of their lives. And now they're allowed to talk about it to find help. It's beautiful. Yes, exactly, because... Uh, the control is they hide things in plain sight and so Mm -hmm. there are all these movies such as The Matrix and all sorts that give out hints to what is going on but people that actually talk about their experiences or what's actually happening here in this new nowness that we are in these people look like crazy compared to the average taxpayer and 9 to 5 worker who is not interested in learning about mm-hmm. what is really going on and becoming more aware and yeah um, but the nice thing and, sorry to interrupt yeah. the no, nice thing I wanted ahead. to add I'm very excited about that because the really nice thing on the situation and I'm very thankful for that every single minute of the day is that we all are educating each other um, so we are not falling into the trap to claim someone is um, psychotic, schizophrenic, paranoid, whatever, you know, all these labels where you're silenced. Um, so it's really, or we can help and assist each other. And even if we don't have a solution, we can try to find and dig more into the stuff. So it's on, if, so this is an aspect I'm very thankful to be in this time now, even if it's extremely challenging, especially with my son. But um, what uh, what we all together built up over the last years or decades, it's 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 wonderful in my opinion. Yes, thank you so much. And yes, it is. It was always there's always more, and so the real wake mm-hmm. up now is here for for people to recognize, become aware of, and and uh, do something. So I think uh, we can. It's probably about time to wrap it up now, Andrea, and thank you again. And we'll keep mm-hmm. in touch. Yeah, thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. Else? Bye. Have a nice okay. evening. Bye. Take care. You too. Okay. Have a good morning over there in Austria. Thank you, Andrea. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Good night.